y'all, it's me, Kia. And girl, let me tell you all about pre-op. Kia's calling. I cannot believe it's time for the pre-op. Like, literally, I remember going to my console and waiting forever to be seen. And then when I booked the surgery, I remember thinking like, wow, March is so far away. And now, boom, here we are, two weeks out from the surgery date. Ooh, come through sun. Okay, sunlight. Anyways, I'm on my way to the bank. I like randomly realized that my pre-op is next week and not in two weeks like I thought. So I'm like headed to the bank. I have to take out a cashier's check because I refuse to try to use my card. The last time I tried to do that, they like wouldn't process the payment because they thought it was fraud and then it was too much money I was trying to use it for. So I'm not trying to run into any of that. So I was just like, let me go ahead and get this little cashier's check out. So I don't have any issues, right? But y'all like the freaking pre-op snuck up on me like I completely forgot that it was next week I don't know why I thought I had much more time than I actually do we just had a lot of stuff going on like with us catching COVID and then you know I got put into this last minute course I've been busy with that and then trying to plan this drill down for work it's just been a lot so my mind has kind of been like all over the place, but it's okay. We're gonna get it together. We're gonna be good. I just feel like the pre-op just made it so much more real. Like obviously I know I'm getting the surgery, but going to the appointment just had me feeling like, okay, like we really, we really getting the surgery. <laughs> So the day before the pre-op, I was kind of expecting them to call me a little bit early in the day just to give me like some pre-op instructions, what I need to bring to the appointment. And at about two, when they didn't call me, because I knew they closed at five, I was like, bet, I'm gonna call you. Literally, my anxiety was just through the roof, so I just had to call. Let me find you. Oh yes, you're my 10 o'clock appointment. Um, if you could arrive about 10 minutes early, we'd truly appreciate it. And just to give you a heads up, so no traffic's quite terrible. Um, you're going to be here for about three and a half hours tomorrow. It's non-fasting, so you can definitely eat a good breakfast. It's preferred. Um, you're going to fill out your consents. Um, and when you're done filling those out, you're going to see the nursing staff to go over all of that with you, go over everything medical. Once you're finished with our nursing staff, you'll see me for the final payment. And then as a matter of fact, how are you looking to take care of the balance tomorrow? Um, with a cashier's check. Beautiful. Do you need to have the total or do you already have that information? I already have the info. All right. I think I got it covered. You're allowed one adult to join you tomorrow. Just no children are allowed in the office. Are you bringing anybody with you? Uh, no. No worries. I was going to say, if you do, just make sure you don't mind them seeing you naked because they have to stay with you the whole time. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. Thank you so much. I honestly didn't expect the appointment to be three hours and I had a feeling it was going to be me just kind of waiting around for a little bit. So I made sure that I packed my snacks. Um, I packed my laptop, my charger, cause my phone stays dying. Um, and just like some notepads and questions that I wanted to ask. So I'm on my way to my consult. It's at 10, um, but I left about an hour early just to give myself some time to get there and deal with any type of traffic. Um, so I'm on my way there now. I wore something that I can easily change out of because I don't know if you guys heard her on the phone, but apparently I'm getting naked. So um, I just, initially I had on like a bodysuit, but I changed cause I'm like, I'm not trying to be, you know, tearing off a freaking romper or bodysuit. So I just have on like this crop top and a jacket and some jeans just for easy access when it comes to having to take my clothes off. But I also brought one of those bralettes that I talked about in my console video. And 
the main reason is because I'm still low-key nervous that my breasts are gonna look too big and I really don't want to go for that look you know like I'm honestly fine with my bra size right now and I'm a 36 C and I'm fine with the size I just want um, more volume at the top you know I want more cleavage because that's where I feel like I struggle with is the, the top part so I kind of want to get resized again just to make sure you know that I'm comfortable with the 450cc just to make sure that the 450cc is exactly the size that I want um, because Granted, I could go back later down the line and get them resized, but I don't want to go through all that. I want to just go in with the right size the first time. I honestly haven't been buying any new sports bras or any new bras in general because I knew I was getting the surgery and I was like, I don't want to waste all my money and I might potentially, you know, increase in my bra size. So it'll be interesting to see what new bra size I am after this surgery. But oh my God, at the pre-op, I had to fill out so much paperwork. Bruh. Like that took about an hour itself. And I'm not gonna lie, usually when it comes to like terms and agreements, I typically will just scan through it and just sign, but mm -mm. for surgery, I was reading everything. So after I filled out all the paperwork, I went in the back with the nurse and the first thing we did was take some before photos. Um, and she pretty much had me, you know, take a photo straight on at an angle and then profile and then the same thing on the other side. About four hours. Yeah. I personally didn't have to get completely naked considering the procedure I had done, but I did have to be topless. <laughs> Expect to be exposed. So after the photos, we went over all the 60 billion paperwork that I filled out and she was just kind of going through it, making sure, you know, nothing stood out, kind of getting clarification to some of the things that I wrote down. She also gave me the opportunity to get resized. One thing she did mention um, that kind of reassured me was, you know, you'll get a certain size, but it'll go down by 30 cc's once they kind of settle in place. So for me, I did feel a lot more confident going in with a 450, knowing that they would eventually drop to about a 430. Am I math right? 50 minus 30, 420. <laughs> So after I got resized, we finished all the paperwork, she took my blood pressure, and then I went and saw the financial coordinator to give them my payment. It's so hard to say goodbye to my money. So after all the admin work was completed, I went next door where they had the lab center set up, filled out more paperwork, That's where I got like my blood test done. I got my COVID test done. I got fitted for my Faha. And what arms do you usually prefer? Or which one's better? I have pretty good veins too. So I love that. <laughs> Versus when they say, I have very hard veins. <laughs> you gotta edit this part out. <laughs> That's okay. Bluebirds. For the regular name shirt. Sure. <laughs> But I gave a kind of be cute. Hilarious. They had a Chowini, and his name was Steven, and he was so bad. So, of course, I was always yelling at him. It's like, Steven! <laughs> Five seconds. One nostril. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Not done. 
they did some type of like body assessment test to kind of help me determine how many calories I should be eating. Um, Cause they really advised that I increase my protein intake, especially with the surgery coming up and after surgery, um, because they kind of said that it kind of helps with the healing process. So she said a lot of protein and a lot of fiber because I will likely be constipated. Okay, and then just answer your, hey, Adrian Jennifer. So I just got done with the pre-op. It took about two and a half hours, so not as long as they said. Um, but y'all, yeah, it was a little, uh, it was a little overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of like medications I have to take, and you know, different things I have to do before surgery. Certain things I can't do before surgery. Certain things I can't do after surgery. So um, it was a little overwhelming, you know. I'm, I'm thankful that they provided me with the handout, um, like all the paperwork, so I can just reference it if I need to. But I literally, while they were talking, I was just like... So I'm on my way to HEB right now to go try to fill this prescription, just to have it early and not have to worry about it. Um, and I'll probably grab some lunch there too because I am freaking starving. I'm gonna just compile everything. Ooh, it's bright. It's bright out here. Anyways, so I'm gonna just scrub through the documents, scrub through all the prescriptions, and kind of just make a one page reference that I can just look at real quick for everything I need to know about the surgery because it's just way too much paperwork they kind of throw at you. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. It's just kind of compiling my thoughts and making sure that I know everything that I need to know for the surgery. But I feel really good. Like everybody was just so welcoming and so nice and it just really made me feel confident. Um, I didn't see the doctor today which I wasn't I honestly wasn't expecting to see him um, but when I go back for my surgery that's when they're gonna do like you know the markings and everything like that but I feel really good like this just made it so much more real you know <laughs> uh, I can't wait I'm excited so I'm gonna pretty much summarize the preparing for surgery instructions that they gave me, just so you guys have a idea of what to expect and some key takeaways. Um, one of the things they told me, which was very important, and kinda almost made me second guess the surgery. This is very important, y'all. Um, on the surgery day, you can't wear any makeup. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's not the most important, but that is one thing they did tell me. So starting now, uh, about two weeks out from surgery, stop smoking. Smoking reduces circulation to the skin and impedes healing. Take multivitamins. Um, they gave me some multivitamins over at the lab to kind of help out with uh, general health. Do not take aspirin or ibuprofen. Uh, these drugs can cause bleeding problems during and after surgery, so I can only take Tylenol. Uh, for your prescriptions, which I already did. I just got to pick them up because they are ready. The day before surgery, uh, confirm the surgery time. So at the consult, they didn't give me a surgery time. So they're saying that they're going to call me the day before and give me that confirmed time. Um, prescriptions, make sure you have filled the prescriptions you were given and you have the prescriptions. Uh, cleansing the night before, shower and wash the surgical areas. Eating and drinking, do not eat or drink anything after 12 o'clock midnight. And then the morning of the surgery, do not eat or drink anything um, or hygiene. You may brush your teeth, but do not swallow the water. Cleansing, shower and wash the surgical areas. Again, make sure hair is completely dry before arriving to the sur surgery center. Makeup. Do not wear any moisturizers, creams, lotions, perfumes, or makeup. So literally come in here looking crusty. Um, clothing, wear only comfortable, loose fitting clothing that does not go over your head. Remove hairpins, wigs, jewelry, any body piercings. 
Do not bring valuables with you. Um, one thing I did mention is to wear a loose fitting button up shirt as well. So I'll likely end up wearing um, a button up with like some sweats or something. And then the last note is to check in at um, the doctor's office. Cause like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm getting everything done on site. Another thing to know is they said to remove any polish from fingernails prior to surgery. I'm mad about that, okay? Cause I just got my nails done. <laughs> but one thing they did tell me is that I can just remove one nail. So I'm already prepared for it to be an awkward exchange with my nail tech, but I'll probably just end up getting my pinky nail off because I refuse to just soak them all off. Like, no, I paid my good earned money for this set, okay? Just take off one little pinky. Another thing they told me to do that was really important is to wear compression socks to the appointment. Um, they said that's going to help with uh, circulation, so to definitely wear that. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I need to mention. Don't wear jeans because they're hard to put on. Um, make sure I have a driver because I'm going to be sedated, so Javron's going to drop me off and pick me up. Um, and then the next day, I still can't drive, so he's going to have to take me again. Love you, honey. Um, another thing, don't wear contact lenses. So I have to wear my glasses to my surgery. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, a couple other things to reduce your risk of infection. Um, two weeks prior to surgery, pretty much leading up to your surgery. So about now, um, don't exfoliate. Don't apply alcohol, peroxide, betadine, or chemicals to your skin, and do not tan. So that's two weeks out from your surgery until your surgery date. Um, two days before my surgery, all those things that I just said, but I can't shave, wax, use depilatory cream, or have laser hair removal. Uh, and then the night before you go to sleep, the night before surgery, all those things apply, but I can't use deodorant. And then the morning of surgery, same thing. Can't use deodorant. Ooh, I'm gonna be stank. That's like two days without deodorant. <laughs> Woo! And then after a week after surgery, do not apply deodorant. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna be so freaking funky. Okay, so the week after surgery, those same things apply. No deodorant. Um, it says shower using regular soap, but to wait until I've been cleared to shower. So, oof. I might have to sleep in another room because I already know Gibran gonna have something to say. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you guys have any other questions in regards to the pre-op visit, feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. But I'm excited. I think the main thing I'm kind of concerned about is just all the medications I have to take and kind of staying on top of them. Like, I don't want to feel overwhelmed, but I already like hate taking medication. I think I mentioned that in another video. Like, I prefer gummies. So having to take all these different pills is like freaking me out a little bit, but... I have a feeling that once that pain hits, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> but hopefully, you know, as I kind of get into the flow of things, I'll become a little bit more familiar with my pill popping schedule. I'm gonna be popping bottles, literally. If you guys enjoyed this combo, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I will call you later. Toodles. Subscribe.